So we're making good progress. Today is night two. I got all the prep work done last night and we're gonna be doing the masking and maybe even get the primer on tonight. I say maybe because I do actually have to go out later on at some point, but I've got my little helper here. You gonna get some primer on with me tonight or what? You gonna put a coat of primer on this guy? Let's do it. So as you see, we just use some 320, buzz that all down and the same thing up the top over here. Just used a little bit of 320 and then just went over the edges um, with those hand sanding pads. We're gonna put a few coats of primer on. I'm lucky enough to work in a body shop where we got all the um, tools and equipment and uh, materials at work. So I actually asked my boss, I said, hey, can I get some black primer because I'm painting this car at home and having the shaded primer is gonna make a big difference. I mean, it's gonna take in, uh, one less coat of color to get covered. So yeah, I have ordered the color in today as well. Ordered a few other little supplies. You got some masking tape ready? Hey? That's what I tell my apprentice from work. I say, your, your hands are your second set of eyes in this industry, in this trade. If you can feel it, you'll be able to see it. All right, that's ready for plastic now. Yeah, it's good. Life's good, guys, you know. Listening to music. Vision is not the best down there, but that's where I've got things like this. I haven't even turned the compressor on. I didn't turn it on at all last night through that whole prep session. So just using an old microfiber to get rid of the bulk of the dust. And considering I did all of that prep work dry, there's actually not much dust on the car thanks to the extraction system I got there. So how are we going to... That's no, not going to work. I just have to tuck it in the best we can. What are you doing? Changing the radio station there, Sky? Hey? But you don't like my music, do you, Sky? Hey? No doubt lots of the people watching don't like it too much either. There we go. One, two, three, four arm lengths, and a little bit. Usually gets us there. Three and a bit. There we go. Perfect. So this place is just going to be covered in overspray. So it's important that we sort of try to tie it down at the bottom so that we're not going to get any overspray coming up underneath as well. Tie these ends up like that. I like to do that. Stops it from flapping around. It also helps keep the overspray. You might, you also might kick it as well. Otherwise, What I might do when I'm prepping this car up is I might prep it up and then move the car out and give it a bit of a wash down and then let it drip dry overnight and also give the garage a bit of a clean out too. So, but we'll see how we go. Sometimes I change my plans. If the car's pretty clean, I might not wash the car down, but I'll definitely wash uh, the garage down at the very least. Radio. so all that masking is done and I've got about 45 minutes before I've got to head out and do something but I thought I may as well just get some primer on it tonight. It shouldn't take too long. Primers do generally dry pretty fast and it's actually not too cold of a night tonight. 
All right, so now it's time to put my respirator on while I'm mixing up because this stuff gets pretty stinky. But as I mentioned before, we've got some black primer and then I'm gonna mix that up in the PPS pot. Bit of hardener here. I got one of these pouring caps but it didn't even fit on properly. So it'll, it, it'll be all right. It'll do the job. Dark primer is gonna help when it comes to putting the color down. So it was four to one to one. That's the mixing ratio. So we'll go, whatever number you go up to, you go up to the next one. So, which way, oh yep, you meant to actually look at them this way. You meant to look through there. So we'll go, what do you go up to six? That's fine. Go up to the six with the primer. And you go up to the six with the hardener. And then we go up to this, the next six with the reducer. That's pretty straightforward, the mixing ratios, how to do it, but I do still get some people who don't know how to make, how to make sense of the mixing ratios. Now, same thing, it's probably, oh no, that, that actually fits better. So this time we can get the thinners in without making a mess. We'll flick that upside down. Stop it from chugging. All right, there we go, that was pretty easy. Um, I've got the compressor going already. Well, that's actually already full. I'll be doing a, a separate review on that compressor after I've painted this job, but I've actually been waiting to do this job before I do that review. See how the compressor goes um, when we paint the bonnet. But I've got a feeling it'll be totally fine. I've got a feeling it will exceed expectations. I think it's going to be more than enough for a home compressor as long as you've got the, the correct guns. You don't want to go and get HBLP guns for a home. But that's looking good. That's nice. That's not too thick because I don't need a thick primer. It's more of a primer surfacer in this instance. It's something to seal it down with. I'm going to go three coats. I might go an extra coat on that guard where the filler repair is. But again, that, that repair doesn't have to be perfect. It's not perfect and it's not expected to be perfect. Anyway, I'll put that respirator on and stop talking. So there we go, just using that um, heat gun in between coats. It's actually quite effective. It doesn't take too long at all to, to flash it off. All right, so we may as well use this fan. I bought it for this purpose, but it did actually seem that there wasn't much I'm a spray. Guys, time for the last coat. Now 
Now this is my favourite part, cleaning the gun out. It's so easy. Thanks for hanging around to the end. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Um, I've been enjoying making it. It was actually a bit of fun painting this in my garage. I must say, in coming videos, you'll probably be pretty impressed with the results because I'm happy with them. Um, I still haven't polished them as of making this video, but I'm very happy with how the car's coming along. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. We're going to get ourselves dusty in the next one, and we're going to do the prep work. I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone for watching and if you'd like to support the channel further you're more than welcome to go over and check out some of the merchandise we've got. My personal favourite is those spray suits so they're a good quality Colad branded spray suit with a gunman logo on it. There's also hats, drink coolers, hoodies and t-shirts so be sure to go over and check out the link in the description if you are interested.